going to take a test drive in a 58 Bel Air. This car came with factory air conditioning, which we have running now. This car has a 283 cubic inch engine, two barrel carburetor, two speed power glide transmission, no seat belts, I'm afraid. So we're going to drive careful. Car is for sale. It was originally purchased by a lady out in Texas, and she handed it to her son who took it to college. And then he passed away, and the car was passed down to a relative, went into a warehouse, sat there for many years and was retrieved by my brother-in-law. The engine was taken out of the car, detailed, along with the inside of the engine compartment. The interior was cleaned. The carpet was actually replaced because it was very moldy. And the car has been on the road for at least uh, three to four years now. It was uh, taken cruising the coast back in 2012, I believe. We've upgraded to a dual master cylinder for the drum brakes. No disc brakes on this car. And we're gonna head down Highway 90 and uh, go for a little ride. The car does have an AM radio. I believe the windshield wipers do not work on it. Don't know if that's a fuse or if it's an engine issue. Motor revs steadily. About 45 miles an hour, it goes from low to high gear. Has dual exhaust. Uh, nice little rumble, but not loud at all. The car still has the original lacquer paint. I believe the color is, uh, it's a two-tone color, Coral K and uh, Arctic White, possibly. Horn blows, turn signals work, lights work, stop lights. It has an auxiliary cooling fan that's electric in the front. That helps too with the air conditioning. These cars were not known for their capacity to cool with those copper radiators. It has the uh, original style radiator in there or probably the original radiator. And uh, we're just gonna take a little trip here. The seats are the original cloth seats, cloth and vinyl. The floor mats are the original floor mats. Uh, the only part that's come off is the Chevrolet emblem. On the driver's side, it's, it's had a lot more uh, use than the passenger side. Passenger side is very intact. All the chrome on the inside or stainless steel is good. Headliner is nice and clean. Uh, there is some pitted rust on the window chrome, of course, and uh, right here on the door panels needs to be refinished. Now, the paint is not perfect. It has some very thin spots. It's been uh, wet sanded slightly and buffed out again, but uh, it'll it'll need redoing. And here we go again. The car drives good. It has bias ply tires, and it's a very smooth running riding car I'll say we uh it had a little lean surge but ends up we found out the vacuum advance was not getting any vacuum so we remedied that situation and uh, checked the level of the Creon in the air conditioner while we were at it and it's uh it's running about 55 miles an hour now 
it has probably the original spare still in the trunk, original jacking instructions still on the trunk lid on the underside. And it's a, it's a it's a fun car. Fun car just to, to get around in and do a little cruising the coast or take here or there. turn around here and head back to the warehouse I have not really had any problems with the with the fuel due to keeping stable and, and uh, marine fuel non ethanol fuel in it but uh, that's about all I can think to say about the Bel Air. It's a survivor car. The only uh, the only non-original paint is around the windshield. We had to have the front windshield replaced and two side windows on the passenger side replaced. And uh, that's that's really about all the everything else is original glass in it. And the shop that did the glass did a real good job. It, it matches pretty good. Weather strip is all original, so of course it's, it's pretty well dried and shrunk. There's no side mirrors, just a rear view. And I believe uh, Survivor cars are starting to catch on a lot now. Uh, if you look on YouTube, they've even got Survivor car shows now. So. They're, uh, they're catching on, and that's, I think that's going to be a, a big thing to come eventually. So that's about it. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the ride.